Hello and welcome back to Techers Tuesday. It's Oliver Hayes. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button if you're new. More videos, more Techers every single Tuesday here on footy.com. Today, I've got the Portugal home shirt and the Nike Mercurial Superflies, along with a fresh trim, I feel like Ronaldo. We're gonna work on a trick that Ronaldo can actually do himself, and it's called the crossover. Let's do this. First off, this trick may look amazing and pretty difficult to do, but it's actually very basic and I'm going to teach you it with a few little tips. If you can do around the world, crossover should be very easy for you, and even if not, you'll be able to pick it up in no time. The crossover is one of those tricks that I do see a few people do when I'm out and about showing off my tricks. It's similar to around the world where if you play football on a regular basis, you can probably do it. And even if not, I'm going to show you a few little tips today that will have you mastering it in no time. I'm going to break the crossover down into five easy steps. And as always, number one is your touch. So the first touch has got to be with the same foot that you're going to actually kick the ball with mid-move. This, in most cases, is your strong foot, unless you're feeling super confident. In my case, I'm left-footed, so I'm going to kick the ball before I perform the move with my left foot, and then mid-move, I'm going to kick the ball once again with my left foot. The next thing is about the height of that kick before performing the move. I'll demonstrate now. As you can see, it's just around chest high. Obviously, it's not going to be there all the time. It's never going to be perfect, but that is the ideal position where you want the ball. For number three, when the ball reaches your chest and begins to decline, that's the moment when you've got to make that jump. So as it's coming down, you want to jump off on your strong foot that you're going to be kicking the ball with. Once you've made the jump and the ball's on the decline, as it reaches around waist high, that's the moment when number four comes into play looping your leg around the ball. That is going to be your weak leg, remember, because your standing leg and your strong foot that you're kicking the ball with has made the jump. So this leg is going to go around the ball as you're making the jump. Don't forget, this is the hardest part of the trick. It's going to be difficult. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be challenging, but you'll get there in the end through practice and persistence. You've done one, two, three, and four, and now we're on to the finisher, number five. It's the kick at the end. It's not that difficult. You've done the hard work. Just get your foot nice and strong, big kick, as with the most freestyle tricks, and you'll be ready to continue back into kick up. If you're struggling with this trick, instead of going directly from a kick, you can drop the ball from your hands. When doing this, don't just drop it down straight to your feet, because it's going to come at you too fast. Just lift it up in the air slightly around chest height, similar to the kick, and practice the exact same steps as I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Drop us a comment if there's any tricks that you want to learn. I'm here to help every week on Techers Tuesday. Subscribe for more videos and more tricks every single week right here on footy.com. Click here for the Hop the World tutorial. And until the next time, I'll see you soon. This has been Techers Tuesday. I have been Oliver Hayes. Boom!